Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to talk about animations. If I refresh this page, you can see that our news modules in the middle have got some animations going on there. They're really easy to do and each module, section, row allows you to animate them like that. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled, I'm going to add a new row. I'll put three columns in there. And let's put three text modules. Divi as standard comes with all these modules. You get an extra 12 also if you've got WooCommerce installed for selling products. I'm just going to put a generic text module in there. There we go. And I'm going to copy it a couple of times. If you just go onto the module, the dark tab there, there's the clone icon. Just click on it, left click on it, it'll copy the module for you. Then you can just select it, move it to where you want it. Doesn't matter which one because they're clones of each other, so they're exactly the same. Okay, let's move this up a little bit. So we've got three little columns there. So you just give it a little bit more space spread them out so it's a little easier to see. I'm going to go down to spacing. Let's put... There we go. A little easier to see. Okay, and each of these modules we can animate. We can also animate the row and we can also animate the section if we want to. So let's go to our first module. Go to the design tab. At the bottom of the design tab you'll find animation first setting is none second is fade settings then you have slide settings if i change that to right you can see it work a bit better you've got bounce settings which will sort of bounce in zoom flip fold and roll and all of these have little controls you can do the animation direction animation duration delay intensity starting opacity and this type of speed curve and whether you want it to repeat or not so let's put a just for example I'm going to use slide I'm going to leave it just like that slide in from the right it's fine now on this second one Let's have this slide down from the top or up from the bottom or something like that. It's a design tab down to animation, slide. Let's have this one slide down, it's fine. And let's put this one design, animation, slide we'll have this one slide in from the other side the left okay so if I save this now and we refresh the page you'll see those animations oh, I don't know if you caught that but if I refresh again There we go, you can see them animating in there. But you can also change the delay time. So you can, if you wanted to, you can have this one first, then that one, then this one, or whatever way around you want. So let's do that. Let's enable the Visual Builder again. We'll go down to our little modules here. Let's change the timing this time. This one. let's give it a delay of say half a second 500 milliseconds or thereabouts next one let's give this perhaps a second or 
or close enough. And we'll give this one a second and a half. Now I'm doing sort of extreme ones so you can see animation delay 1.5 seconds. There we go. Okay, let's save this and see what we've got. Now, I don't know if you caught that, but this one came in after half a second. Then half a second later, this one came in. Then half a second later, this one came in. I'll just refresh. You can see that again. So you can get some amazing effects doing doing things like that. You can also change the strength of how strong the actual animation looks. So let's go in and I'll just demonstrate that. So let's scroll on down and go to our first module. And let's put the intensity down to 9%. And it sort of slides in less when you do it like that. This next one we'll leave on 50%. This next one, we'll put this one up at say 90%. As you can see, it comes in from the side there. It's 100%. Let's change it to 90. It'll rotate again. See how far it slides in. That's how intense it is. We go back to this one that I've only got on 10%. Let's roll this up a little bit so you can see it better. See that just slides in a little bit. So you can do the intensity there as well. Starting opacity is whether or not it's see-through or not. So zero, it's starting off as invisible. If you want it to start off as fully visible, put it to 100% and it's fully visible all the way and it can increment obviously so it's partially visible starts off as halfway visible well I like that zero it sort of just fades in as well as slides that's kind of nice now your speeds curves these are the same as our fades that we've been doing you got ease in and out ease and it, just play with them in different situations these will Give you all kind of different effects but the one that I tend to use is ease and out because it'll sort of speed in then slow then speed out then slow it sort of eases in and eases out it's a nice little effect but play with those and do whatever works for you and you can decide whether you want it to once or to loop now you want to be careful with the loop because that's going to drive people crazy because it's just going to go round and round and round but I'm happy for that once and of course, once we've done our settings for our modules, you can go into the row itself. Let's go into this row. What I'll do, let's give the row a background color just to, so we can discern it. And we'll give it a bit of padding too. Just so we can see everything. And let's make this row animate also. So same again, design tab, animations, you'll always find them down the bottom here. Let's make we'll make the row flip in like that. Duration. I want it to take half a second because our first animation starts after half a second there. Close. Don't want any delay. Intensity is fine. Just save that. Now when we save, you should see the row flip and then these animate in. And there we go. I don't know if you caught that, but let's just refresh that again. So the row is going to twist in, then the first one, second one, third one. 
So there you have it. There's a brief overview of animations. And like I say, you can animate sections, rows, modules, all kind of things. So do play with it. You can get some fantastic effects. Like with a lot of effects, less is quite often more. So being a, be a bit sparing with it, but that's entirely up to you. So I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.